Hello friends, this is Acharya Raman, Vedic astrologer since last 20 years. Today we are going to do a very interesting and little known story about the fight between Hanumanji and Bali and find out the result of the fight when Bali challenged Hanumanji. So friends let us start this interesting video and if you like the video, then at the end of it please do comment on it, like it, share it and also please subscribe to my channel. This is quite interesting tale and it has been written by Tulsidas in his Hanuman poems. Once Hanumanji was reciting Rama Rama in woods when Bali came out of the blue destroying trees killing wild animals and shouting and boasting about what he did to Ravana because he had an ability to absorb 50% power of his opponent if he sees into his eyes. First Hanumanji tried to ignore him but when it was unbearable he went to him and requested him to calm down and asked him to stop destroying woods and killing animals. He added that greed has entered his head and he should worship Rama to gain peace again to which Bali in a disrespecting manner stood and said bring your ram I will crush him down under my feet. This angered Hanumanji. The sudden change in Hanumanji facial expressions was enough to change the climatic conditions of the world. Wind started blowing at a very fast pace taking whatever came in its way. The ocean started stashing the shores with big tides and animals started running here and there to save their lives. The temperature near Hanumanji and Bali started increasing as Hanumanji body was emitting too much heat. Hanumanji drew his mace or gadha and jumped towards Bali, just then Brahma appeared and asked Hanumanji to stop but he was not ready to as Bali has insulted his only reason of life Lord Sri Ram. Brahma changed his plan and asked Bali to apologize but blinded by his ego Bali disagreed and started insulting Lord Rama again. Brahma then used his fifth head and came up with an idea. He asked both of them that if they want to fight then they should fight officially in front of everyone to which both agreed. The next day all the big kings were called at Bala's palace to witness this fight. Huge celebration was going on and Bali was shouting and telling everyone that today he will beat Hanumanji and make a slave out of him. All the mighty gods were watching this scenario too. The other side Hanumanji was worshipping Lord Rama's statue which he made out of clay, stones leaves and other things available in the woods. He requested Rama to bless him before his fight. Just when he picked up his mace or gadha and started marching towards Bali then Lord Brahma appeared again. Hanumanji touched his feet and apologized for his behavior yesterday. Brahma told Hanumanji that Bali is a fool but this behavior from Hanumanji was unexpectable. Hanumanji being a gentleman was feeling sorry and asked Brahma to give him punishment. Brahma smiled and said as a punishment I order you to leave 95% of your strength with Lord Rama and fight Bali with 5% leftover strength. He accepted the punishment with a smile and he left 95% of his strength with the Lord Rama statue itself. To Hanumanji's surprise the statue started radiating because of the energy infused within it and as Hanumanji had innocence of the monkey in him he thought Lord Rama was giving him blessings. Hanumanji became happy with what happened and started shouting Jai Shri Ram, marching again. His gait was like that of a big mammoth with each foot producing a sound like a big rock thrown from a big height. When he reached Bali Palace he was surprised to see the decorations and preparations that were made for their duel. Bali shouted and called Hanumanji in his Akata but to Bala's shock Hanumanji ignored him. Bali shouted again but everything was same this time as well when he came closer he noticed that Hanumanji was more interested in all the pakwans and dishes that were being made than the fight itself somehow beat me today then you can eat whatever you want and how much you want. These words were enough for Hanumanji to bring his attention back towards Bali. Bali looked into the deep blue eyes of Hanumanji filled with fire capable to burning the whole world and ice that can overpower every heat or fire perfectly balanced with each other. His body started absorbing 50% energy from Hanumanji body which was 2.5% of the 5% energy Hanumanji had feeling nothing new but then his body started getting hot as Hanumanji energy started getting infused in his body. Hanumanji was standing in a defensive position as he knew that Bali has absorbed his power. Just when Bali was about to attack, something happened which shocked the whole body of Bali. His heartbeat accelerated to a pace that was beyond normal, his muscles started getting bulked up, 
his chest started getting bigger as a result of which he was having an enormous pain and his bones started expanding which was as painful as something being drilled into the bones. His eyes started bleeding and he fell on the ground and started crying, yelling out in pain. He was not even able to see as too much blood was coming out of his eyes. Lord Brahma then connected with Bali mind and told him to run as fast as he can. Bali without caring about his whereabouts started running randomly. He really was looking like a monkey with his tail on fire. After running for two whole days Bali collapsed. Slowly he regained his senses and wanted to know what actually happened. He requested Lord Brahma to guide him and tell him what was that all about. Brahma told him that the energy Bali absorbed was only 50% of the 5% energy Hanumanji had during the fight as he had ordered him to leave 95% of the energy behind. If he would have absorbed 50% of his whole energy his body would have had bursted out like a bomb. Lord Brahma warned Bali from getting into a fight with Hanumanji and from that day onwards Bali was not able to look into the eyes of Hanumanji again. Friends hope you liked my video and if you did like then please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you friends.